welcome back to Socks Plays uh, Cutie Demon Crashers. Hold up, let me just let me just go into uh, turn the music down. Didn't didn't save my settings last time. So we have the 18 plus filter on and we're gonna leave that on. So if you you people want some bad behavior, you're not gonna get it. Um let's return. Okay. So previously on Cutie Demon Crashers. Sex demons in my kitchen, making me cry over breakfast. Caught up? Good. However you enjoy yourself is up to you. Right. Let's just jump right back into it. I'm not even going to slow Feeling down better. here. Yes, Bay. Oh my god. His voice. Here, some tea that'll help you calm your nerves. Mmm. Arias appears and gently sets down a fancy, unfamiliar teacup. And a flowery aroma fills the air with slightly trembling hands. I take it. Like that dick. What kind of tea is it? It's safe. It's similar to your earth passion flower. I promise it's safe for humans. I've been brewing this type for centuries. He's experienced. Mmm. Mmm. Smells like a meadow after the rain. It tastes amazing, too. I bet, like, you taste amazing. Hmm. I'm glad to be of assistance. Your crying was, uh, quite alarming. I hope Kale didn't upset you. Oh! He just reminds me of the leaf. He's a leaf. I'd never. All his friends. <laughs> this game is cute. Okay, if this isn't a dream, where are the others? These goddamn blue shells! Uh, I think he's playing Mario. <laughs> Aki's in the living room. Marari's in the garden. Fascinating. And I'll be returning to the miniature library. I've never seen so many books on a modern human law before. I've never seen so many books on modern human law before. It's fascinating. Oh, my dad's a lawyer, so... And that's his office. Um... Would it be rude to continue browsing? Nah, it's okay. He probably hasn't touched those books in years anyway. Just put it back when you're finished. Thank you. I will. Sounds like you're much calmer now. The tea helped out, and you guys seem nice. I haven't had people dote on me in a long time. Same in-game me. Same. Uh, do I still have to, you know... No pressure. Only if you're comfortable. Keyword there. Comfortable. We wouldn't pressure you to do something you'd rather not. Keyword there. Wouldn't pressure. Well, two words. Keywords. Wouldn't pressure. This game knows what it's talking about. I see. I mean, it's still bizarre that there's mystical beings crashing at my house, but I promise I won't freak out anymore. Or pinch myself. Thanks again for the breakfast, Kale. I just think of the fucking leaf. He is a kale leaf. He is- that's it. That's- that's all I can see. Him as a kale leaf. Anytime. He takes the dishes and I stand up, wondering what to do now. Who should I spend time with? Let's, oh. Mm. Mm, mm. We're gonna go with this guy first. What's he doing? Orias is sitting at the table, scooping what looks like a tea blend into silk bags. Once he's done, he skillfully ties it up and places it in a growing pile. Is that the tea you served me earlier? Hmm? Ah, this is something entirely different. It's ginger peach with vanilla. Would you like to try one? Sure. Nodding, he closes the jar containing the blend and heads over to the kitchen counter with one of the tea bags. I glance at the pile. Many of them are simple white ones, but a few are embroidered with Latisse patterns. When did you pick up your tea hobby? When did I? Ah, uh, Paris. Tea was becoming popular in Paris centuries ago. Many of the nobles I had trysts with drank it. Tris with royals. He fucks some royals. Uh, once its popularity spread to England, that was when I became interested in its different preparations and flavors. Many of those tea bags are gifts and souvenirs from my travels. That's Here you cool. Go. Like his voice, I, like uh, if a guy spoke to me in that way in real life, I don't know. I don't know. Panties would be flying off. He blows gently on a dainty cup, then offers it to me. I take it and bring it up to my nose, inhaling softly. It smells nice. It smells so good. 
Orias props his elbow on the table, observing my movements. After the tea cools down, I take a sip. Ah, I can taste the peach with the hint of the spicy ginger, but I can't taste the vanilla? Try closing your eyes. I'm closing them. I'm closing them. I do so and continue to drink, and then I detect the creamy smoothness that lingers. Oh, I can taste it now. It's very subtle, but it's there. <laughs> when you block out one sense, the others heighten. I'm still balancing out the proportions. Thank you for your feedback. I feel like getting stupid happy playing this game. This is fantastic. Nah, you're more attuned to this than I am. He returns to preparing the tea bags, and I curiously watch his nimble fingers work. You're really good at tying. Thank you. It's probably from all the experience of binding my lovers. Oh no. Oh no. He found my weakness. Oh no. I spit out my tea everywhere. Was that a good enough tea spitting sound? I hope it was. I cover my mouth when I realized I showered Arias's face with my tea. <laughs> Oh my god, oh god, I'm so sorry. I'm so, so, so sorry. It's quite alright. My timing was off. I wanted to find a way to be upfront about my sexual interests in case you were considering me. I'm not trying to dissuade you, but... It's something to be mindful of when weighing your options. Excuse me. I'll go wash myself off now. Of course. Sorry about that. Uh... <laughs> Uh, okay, okay, I'm gonna simmer down, I'm gonna simmer down now. He gets up and leaves, and I sip my tea with a guilty conscience. A few minutes later, I hear a roar in the other room. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to you, new technique? Oh. <laughs> Stop making a ruckus. I'm sorry, Arias, this is a rare sight. Mirari, Mirari, you need to see this. <laughs> what is everyone babbling about? That's a whole new look for you. I'm delighted that you're all highly amused by this. I know I am. Oh god, I'm... <laughs> Game me is embarrassed. Face beat red, I gulp my tea down. Good job, cat. Good job. I had a nice lunch. Now what? Who should I spend time with? Uh... Yeah, we're gonna go with Arias again. And, then, like, next, I'm gonna do this several, like, four, four, four more times. We're gonna go through all the peeps, so don't you worry. Uh, as much as I'd like to spend more time with them, I can't ignore my studies. I crack open my textbook and find the required chapter. I know there will be a pop quiz the day I get back. The minutes melt away as I jot down notes. A knock on the door frame jolts me out of my trance. Yes, come in. Hello. We've noticed that you've been absorbed for quite some time. I thought you'd appreciate a pick-me-up. He places a small tray with jam and toast and tea on the desk. When I lift the cup, he shies away. <laughs> yeah, I would too. I promise I won't spray you in the face this time. <laughs> and I won't speak while you're drinking. Deal. Hmm? What are you studying? Is it related to your education? History. I haven't declared a major yet, so I'm picking courses that sound interesting and then go from there. I, I find I like factual stuff. Right now I'm studying the French Revolution. That's like me, except I'm bad at it. Has it really been that long? How nostalgic. Wait, were you there during that time? Hmm. I left prior to the events and stayed in London. However, news did spread. We incubi and succubi try to avoid getting entangled in human affairs. Although Minari likes to claim she had nothing to do with the free love movement. Min... Mm. Mirari likes to claim she had nothing to do with the free love movement during the Victorian era. What was France like when you stayed there? What did you do there? Well? I set a bedroom on fire to help a noble woman fake her death and escape her arranged marriage. And I thought you avoided human affairs. Try is the key word. <laughs> Oraya sits on the edge of my bed, recalling events and memories. I scribble down the tidbits related to the pre-revolution. Thanks for that. I'm pretty... It's pretty surreal to talk to someone who lived during that time. I'm glad. 
I'm glad to be of assistance. It's been a while since I remembered the past. I hope my stories made sense. Also, hmm? er, I want to apologize, not just for the tea incident, but for getting the wrong idea about your interests. Before, I thought people who were into uh, kinky stuff were all cruel sadists who loved dominating people against their will. Whips and dungeons, the whole shebang. Real life me never thought that. Keyword. Real life. Um, I've been to some kinky stuff. I really hope my parents don't ever see this. I'm sorry, Mom. Uh, no. Nothing like that. There are misconceptions surrounding my practices, yes, but I assure you that is completely untrue. My role as a dominant includes responsibility and being considerate of my partners. Nothing pleases me more than fulfilling their needs. As it should be. <laughs> my partners have the real power. If they request dungeons and whips, I'd be happy to provide, though. I can't believe you have a dungeon on standby. I'd like to visit it. What can I say? My partner's desires can be unconventional thanks for clearing things up my pleasure I don't want people to be repulsed due to a misunderstanding he takes the empty plate and drain teacup I'll leave you to your studies don't leave no don't say thank you make him come back someone in the kitchen again I'm being spoiled <gasps> flip them flip them or they'll burn again I know what I'm doing don't badger me it has to be perfect. Human stomachs are extremely sensitive, and we can't have cat keel over because the mix was still raw. Or burnt. I got this! Morning? Good morning! Have a good sleep? I did. Where's Kale? Ah, uh, makes sense since he prepared breakfast the first time. He's occupied with his other favorite pastime right now. <gasps> uh, he starts and shuffles the pan over the stove. <laughs> Yeah, snoozing the morning away. It's not a parent cat, but he does love to sleep. I think I'd get along with him, like real life <laughs> me. I swear he could sleep for decades if he didn't have the uncanny, de uncanny ability to sense dust bunnies gathering or whether someone left a dirty article of clothing lying around. Don't look at me. We don't even have that many clothes to leave around in the first place. That's very true. <laughs> Enough about that. You must be hungry, cat. I made a raspberry parfait. Damn, son. That is pretty. I sit down at the table and she places a cute cup before me. Eager, I dig in and take a bit of yo a bit of yogurt and realize it's drizzled with honey too. Oh, it sounds so good. Delicious. I don't know you I didn't know you could cook. <laughs> Just the recipes that don't require a stove. I'm glad you like it, hun. Aggie places a small plate filled with sphere spherical pancakes before me. There's powdered sugar sprinkled on top and attempt to hide the unevenly cooked surface. Um, here. Unsure what to make of it, I take a knife and cut it into one. Oh, there's cream cheese in this? And jam in others. It tastes lovely, not overly sweet, but savory. Y you mean it? Yes. <laughs> Thanks. He tries to hide a sigh of relief as he makes his way back to the stove. You know, for sex demons, you sure focus on human food. Of course. That's how humans sustain themselves, and we get our energy from humans. So it's a mutual exchange. Um, does that mean when you take sexual en energy, they get tired? Yes. But we make sure to only take what we need. I even made an extra parfait for you to eat tomorrow. We take care of our lovers. Thank you. Not a problem. Oh. Kale, you made it just in time. Aki's almost done the second batch. Are you okay? I turned, and Kale looks rather haggard. He yawns and sleepily glances over at Aki, then back to Mirai. I'm fine. For some reason, I'm not as well-rested as I could be. I feel there's something I overlooked at home. Huh. I'm sure everything's spick and span, you- Orias, you too? Morning. Were you up all night? <sighs> I found a rather fascinating book, and the hours melted away. <laughs> Might as well eat something, even if it won't exactly nourish us, is- nourish us, it'll wake you up. You can eat Aki's mistakes, at least. And with that, that I think I think we're good here. Um, oh, quick save. And, yeah. More sex demons in my kitchen. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Have a good day. See you next episode. Bye.